Hello, my name is JT Tepley. I'm with Altec, and today I'm giving you a demonstration on Altec's TCP converter, which is a device used to connect either a USB or RS-232 device to your local area network. In this example today, I'm going to be using the TCP converter along with Altec's TWN4 RFID reader and a printer. This example could be seen in an office setting where you have a workgroup printer and you have many users using the same printer and you would like the user to authenticate themselves with a, a badge or a transponder before the print job is actually approved and, and sent to the printer. So on the TCP converter itself, you're going to see two LED lights on top. And let me show you a close-up picture. And they look like that. You're going to have your RS-232 port and your USB port on the front. And then on the back side, you have your 5-volt power supply port, a small reset button, and two Ethernet ports. And when you buy a TCP converter, it's going to come in a kit, and you're going to get the 5 volt power supply cable and also an Ethernet cable. So I've already gone ahead and plugged in my TCP converter, and I have my TWN4 running to the USB port of the converter, and both of my green lights are on. The other thing I'm going to use is something called the TCP converter admin pack, and specifically within the pack is the TCP configuration tool which is this one right here. And you can see my device has the device type, the version of the firmware, the MAC address, the IP address, and then it's gonna give it a default name. And you can change any of this information by highlighting it and clicking configuration. The default username and password is admin and just a blank password field. And here's the window where you can change all that stuff and just click okay when you're done. If you wanna update the firmware, you use this button, you find the file and just click open. You can change your username or password if you'd like. And then whenever you make any changes, any changes, you just want to click the restart button and it'll take a couple seconds and you'll hear a beep when it's done. And then finally, you can test the connection just to make sure everything's working properly. Today I'm using this HID iClass card and I'll show you a close-up picture. You can see on the bottom of this, of this card it has this five-digit number and you can actually alter the output of the reader to match this number. If you'd like step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that, you want to check out the uh, Tech Tracer Kit video also on this channel. I already have it set up, so I'm going to go ahead and test my connection, and I should get that 00044 number, and I do, so we're ready to go. So I'm going to send a test page to the printer behind me, and to do so I'm going to open up the Devices and Printers window, find my printer, and print test page. And I'm also going to open up the queue of this printer, and you can see here's the test page that I, I just sent, and it's in the pause status. So now once I scan my card, it switches from pause to printing. And in order to set this up, you need a type of print management software. And there's a number of them to choose from, but basically what it does is it links this number to your username so that the print job that's in the pause status can be authenticated once you badge your card. And here's my page. Okay, that's about it for this video. If you have any customer support needs or would like to purchase a TCP converter, please be sure to send an email to either the first or second email you see there, depending on where you are in the world. The third email down is our technical support team. If you have any technical issues, send them an email and they'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you look in the description below this video, you'll find the data sheet for our TCP converter as well as the user manual. Once again, I'm JT Tepley with Elotech. Thanks for watching.